Yo, what's up guys? It's x -Series. Welcome back to another Zombies video. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about Infinite Warfare and the just backlash and hate that it's getting. It's it's ridiculous. Like, I saw the trailer today, the reveal trailer was uploaded early because it was leaked on the internet by Hulu accidentally. And when I saw the trailer, I was genuinely excited. They are taking a sort of space theme, but they're not going super futuristic. It's like a weird kind of world where we're able to go to different planets, but we're not dealing with with aliens we're dealing with humans so it, when i was watching that live stream that they had infinity ward you could tell that the guys who are making this game genuinely care about the setting and the place that this game is going to take place in and you can tell that they genuinely enjoyed the idea of going to space and just overall probably have just a lot of passion and and love for what they're making like i don't know if i was the only one who kind of picked up on that but when i was seeing them talk about this you could tell that these guys who have had experience in other games before I believe two of them work for Naughty Dog who are working on the campaign and it looked like they're putting their heart and soul into this and I don't understand just the amount of hate. I mean, the trailer that was uploaded today, it got like 76k likes and like 30k dislikes and for what? For people who are upset that it's a futuristic game? Like, how how pathetic and childish is that, that, that people are complaining about a setting of a game that they have no say in? I mean, people are trying to dictate what they say Call of Duty is. Like, I'm always seeing people say, that's not Call of Duty. Duty. Well, we're not the ones who dictate what Call of Duty is. Like, the ones who dictate what Call of Duty is and the ones who have the vision and the ones who actually make the game and spend hours upon hours in the studio, who spend hours upon hours in the office working on this game, developing it, they're the ones who decide what Call of Duty is. And if they want to make it a My Little Pony shooter, they can do it because it's their game. It's their IP. And what they decide the game is going to be, that is Call of Duty. So I never fully understand why people seem to think that they have this entitlement to what Call of Duty should be and it's not even that infinite warfare looks like it's gonna be bad like the big thing for them was trying to keep this in line with what call of duty is also trying to push the boundaries so i don't really get that and then we have zombies it's added it's announced and and people start trashing it and saying that they're just ripping off treyarch like why 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 are you guys so upset like i know that there's i love treyarch i love zombies i love treyarch zombies i think they're the best ones that do it i mean i enjoyed exo zombies they have a way to go before they're on treyarch's level or if they could even get to that level but why not give these guys a shot when i was watching that interview that they were having with the lead developer for zombies brian bright he looked like he genuinely was really excited and really ready to show us what he had ready for zombies i mean i don't understand again the blind hate like dude give him a shot give him a chance i mean first of all the reason i'm excited for the zombies is one the guy looked like he was a genuine person he didn't look like he made zombies to try to cash in he looked like he had an idea and a vision for what he wanted to do and he was he looked like he was very proud of what he had made or what he's making or what is being made right now and it looks like he has honestly the enjoyment or the passion for zombies because it looks like he understands what we as zombie players enjoy and the best part the part that got me really happy was that this is not connected to the campaign I mean, we're not going to have space zombies if, if they decide they don't want to. This could be completely off the rails, something completely different. The teaser looks like it's going to take place in a movie theater in 1985. I mean, guys, they have freedom to do whatever they want with the zombies. I mean, they don't have to follow Treyarch. They don't have to follow Sledgehammer. They don't even have to follow their own game setting for Infinite Warfare. So, I don't know. I just, I find it kind of pathetic that people are judging this game and attacking this game before they even have a chance to play it. Like... I mean, Black Ops 3 was getting roasted like crazy before the game came out. And finally, when the beta came out, everyone was like, eh, it, it's, it's all right. And it ended up becoming one of the best Call of Duties and people love it. I mean, even people who bitch and moan about zombies ended up enjoying the maps. We might complain that they're a little complex, but let's face it. It's just the way the evolution goes, guys. And I mean, if Infinite Warfare delivers on an awesome campaign, an awesome multiplayer, and an amazing top-notch zombies, I mean, why would you be mad? why give it a shot please if you're a hater if you're upset give it a shot guys you never know what they can come out with they could completely knock it out of the park is all i'm saying give it a shot and uh, anyways i know i know it's a little weird a little rad thank you guys so much for watching drop a like drop a favorite on the video it does get the content out there and if you are new if you want to see more content like this i'm gonna have a ton more call of duty 2016 and black ops 3 zombies leaks rumors news info and more as it comes out so make sure to subscribe and if you want to keep talking zombies or anything twitter is the best place to do so go ahead and follow me over there link down below and i'll see you guys in the next video i'm out peace